Hello everybody and welcome back to G Parker's Arcade Room. I haven't put out a video for a while. And uh, so I'm doing so now. And uh, we're going to talk a little more Pinball FX. I think uh, I'll put a link in the description to the video I did on setting up cabinet mode. Because nothing has changed there so far. You still have to go in and set it up each time you launch it. If you can see above me is my back glass. I do not have uh, the cabinet mode activated yet. And on the uh, over here, you can see my uh, play field. That's my computer screen. And I'll go up here and hit the uh, settings key, and I'll go to cabinet as a support. And you hit activate. Now, hopefully, they'll make that work just uh, come up each time. But you'll notice now look at my back glass. Now that is a back glass that I made just for the opening. Uh, you know, while you're browsing through your games because it does allow for one like that. Uh, and they're weird how the, the only FX3 you used to name the uh, back glass image the same as the table name and it was you know kind of an abbreviation or whatever but these are numbered and I'm trying to find my notes uh, they, they, each table's got numbers to them and this main one is called pfx.png so that's the file you have to store in the right place but I'll get more into that in a little bit I just want to show you some of the back glasses that I have made and I'm going to give these to you. I made these myself. Uh, I got a template. I figured out the dimensions uh, and uh, put these up. So uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can download them. Now you may have to do some playing around with your settings like I showed you in the other video I did on this, which again I'll provide you a link to. But let's take a look at World War Z now that I've exact activated it. I hit play up there. And my uh, World War Z, if everything's working right. There you go. Now, like I said, I put these in a zip file for you. I just went ahead and got in my photo editor and put these together. Now, they're nothing to speak of real fancy. I just took some World War Z artwork and put in there. And you'll notice uh, up here... Uh, but the, I made a box for the DMD that fits inside that little speaker image that I was able to get. But no matter what you do, if you change the dimension of that of that DMD in the settings, which I'll sh show you here in a little bit too, and, and, and it was in my past video, it, it doesn't seem to change the size of that of what you're seeing there. The, the, the black box is what you're adjusting in there. But not the, uh, I know I'm not making this very clear, but the image you're seeing, I can't, see, no matter how big you make that box, that image seems to stay the same. So hopefully that's something that Zen Studios will address later as people start using it. This is all in uh, beta mode or early access mode. So I'm sure people will be pointing things out to them they'd like to see change, and I'm hoping that they'll work on fixing those things. But again, I just wanted to show you that I did, I, I've been unable to find anywhere on the web any back glasses. You could for Pinball uh, FX3, but not for Pinball FX, and not for these new tables. Now, so I only did them for the tables that are new and exclusive for Pinball FX. Because the ones, as long as you name them properly, the ones for the old Pinball uh, FX3 should work the same in Pinball FX as they did in Pinball FX3. And again, I digress. I hope that's making sense. But, you know, the, this is through Epic. The other one is through Steam. So, you know, there, there's a, a whole bunch of different changes. But you still should be able to use the same images for stuff like... Uh, just some of the other games they had, but World War Z is a uh, is a completely new game. So let's back out of that, and that's the one I made for World War Z. I'll just show each one of them to you. Again, 
don't think I'm bragging. I'm, I'm no artiste, and I'm no uh, great programmer when it comes to graphics. But I wanted to put something together for myself. And I thought, well, I put these together to put on my cabinet. And I thought, you know, maybe people get a kick out of it. Here's a Swords of Fury, which is another... Uh, table I've got. And I went ahead and made up a Swords of Fury. And you notice the DMD's bigger on Swords of Fury. Now, that's what I'm telling you. That box that I set the size for, and you'll have to set the size for in your settings, is the same size for this and the last game we just looked at, World War Z. But see, the writing's bigger. So I, I don't explain it. That's a question for... Uh, maybe if I do ever get an interview with the uh, person with uh, <laughs> at uh, Zen Studios, maybe we can ask them this question. But anyway, there's Swords of Fury. Let's exit that table. The, the, here's there's the tables that I did. The, the first one I did was World War Z. This is Swords of Fury. Let's wait for it to. Okay. Uh... Okay, Curse of the Mummy. Let's see how this one looks. Okay, there's the... Again, nothing to write home about, but there is some back glass if you want it. You can go through the link and download the zip file. Of the, it's a 7Z file and unzip it. And it's got this artwork, which I, uh, again, I got some artwork off, off, offline, and I uh, sized them right and, uh, you know, put it together. So, there you go. Exit table. Yes, yeah, so there's three of the tables I did. Back glasses for. And we're waiting for it to load again. Okay. Pinball Noir. Pinball Noir. Noir, pinball noir. Gonna hit play. And again, it was just a little project I wanted to do for myself. Now there's the. Now I gotta admit the graphics aren't that good. The only image I was able to capture was not that high a definition, but it's something for you to use on your cabinet. So anyway, there's your uh, pinball noir. Then I have one more. And again, I named these files the right name for Pinball FX because they have different numbers. For example, uh, Pinball Noir had to be table, capital T, A B L E underscore 123.png. Uh, Curse of the Mummy was table underscore 112.png. So, and they seem to have to be PNG files. I tried it with JPEGs and they did not work for me. But here you go. And I'll show you where to put these. And they're Sky Pirates. So the, those are the ones I did for you besides the main, frame, main screen. So if you have these tables, and I felt like it would be a duplication effort to do the FX3 tables because you can just use the ones you had on FX3. And maybe I'll put some more together for you. if if. Put in the comments if you like these and you want to see more, I'll put some together for you. But uh, these are the only tables that I own now on Pinball Pinball FX because I can't see any sense of buying them when I already own them on FX3. But I did want the new table, so there you go. Now, with that being said, let's back out of here. I think that was all of them that I did, yeah. Let's back out of here. We'll exit the game. Okay, let me take you over here and make sure everything's working properly. Uh, and you have to change the screen. Now, you got to remember, in FX3, it automatically rotated your screen for you. In Pinball FX, you have to set your screen to portrait mode. 
And again, I explained that in my other video, which I'll leave a link to, to there. Okay, here we go. Let's see if you can still hear me now. I am going to show you where these files go. Now, if I can get a window to open in the right place here. Here we go. First of all, here's the zip file you're going to get. It's called pinball, FX pinball backglasses.7z. And inside that, it's going to have, and I'll just go ahead and open the archive. And I'm going to bring this back over here. And these are the files it has in it. It's got the PFX PNG file. Table 112, Table 113, Table 123, Table 149, and one, Table 154. Those are for those tables that I mentioned to you earlier. Uh, Sky Pirates, Curse of the Mummy, uh, Swords of Fury, uh, World War Z. So, and did I miss one? I don't know. But uh, anyway, that that's what you're going to get. You're going to get those. Now, when you extract those, well, they need to go. Is this is where it is? Now, it depends on where you installed yours on your system, but uh, mine is under C. My C drive is called Pinball and Point. That's not a folder. Pinball and Point. That's my C drive. And it's going to be under Program Files, Epic Games, Pinball FX, Pinball FX again, <laughs> Mods cabinet and there you go that's where your now I've got some extra files in there that I was playing with but there is your table 112 table 113 table 123 table 149 and table 154 I made them 1920 by 1080 so if your screens different than that you're gonna have to resize these these will work for a 1920 by 1080 which is what my back glass is on my virtual pinball table and then there's also this INI file which I think I've told you about that before that is the file that is produced you have to run cabinet mode the first time in your pinball FX and it creates this file and this is where you make your adjustments for your position, height, and width, and all that for your back glass window and for your dot matrix window. So with that being said, I explained that in my other video, which I'll provide a link to. So anyway, here are some back glasses for you to play with. Hopefully they work for you. Again, there's nothing special to them. Let me, let me just open one up and bring it over here on the screen and show you. Swords of Fury, I mean, I'm... I'm, I'm I just decided to put these together. I, I don't know. I thought they were cute. Uh, my machine that I'm putting this on is uh, yellow and red, so I use the yellow background. It may not be the color that suits you, but uh, it's something. And if you've got editing capabilities, you could maybe go in and fill these colors with a different color or play with them yourself. But there you go. There's some, uh, some stuff for you. Let me come back here. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you what. There, I'm back. <laughs> okay, and my screen's all messed up. So anyway, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Consider give me a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, subscribe if you like, or whatever. But uh, and don't forget to. I missed last Sunday. Uh, I'm usually on live at 10 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, and I'm gonna try to be on this Sunday. But the summertime is hit, and long days got long and everything and I've been out kind of late so I, I hate missing but uh, ch check check me out on Sunday nights at 10 p.m. Central and I hope you enjoy these have a good day and thanks for watching everybody have a good one